The lights are on and the keys still in the ignition, but the driver may be long gone. I just what? bought the car. I don't have insurance yet. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> even got it fully registered yet. Navarre's Campbell admits this is his Chevy Impala, but he says he wasn't behind the wheel when it jumped the curb near 69th and Silver Spring and barreled through the wall of this Milwaukee home. Somebody stole my car. The 17-year-old says yeah. someone swiped his car while he was sleeping. Here I come walking down the street and I actually see my car. <laughs> the homeowner's daughter didn't want to go on camera, but shared with us this picture taken inside yeah, the home. The she the says her 90-year-old mother, who lives here alone, was scared, but thankfully not injured. Right. I would not have been wow. dead. Someone <laughs> could have been sitting right there. Could have been he dead might. and gone. Campbell doesn't know how his car ended up in the home. That's something Milwaukee police would like to know too. Me too. In Milwaukee, Amy Dupont, Fox Six News. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's funny. I mean, at least he gave he kept his face straight. Yo. No, he is all in his eyes. Nah, that's all. <laughs> in like, I was just I was just walking down the street. I was like, damn, my car, my car, somebody. He said I just got it. I didn't even have any insurance. I didn't even get it registered yet. And I had all that to go on camera. And you know you're wrong. You know you're right. And this is shit. If the camera person would have did any funny movie, he'd have bust out laughing. <laughs> like no, he, wasn't he, no, he was too scared. He was too scared. Nah, he, yo, that, he thought that shit was funny. He probably was hot. He, he be out. He's 17. He ain't kill nobody. Yeah, he come home in a couple years. <laughs> nah, he ain't going to jail. He ain't going to jail. He's just going to have to owe. His this parents is going to owe a lot of bread. Bro, what the fuck happened that the car he gonna be into the house? I, I think he tried to say that he doesn't know who he don't know. in his house stole his, keys. stole his keys and then took his car and drove it into, and drove it into the house. The bad part, he didn't even say, like, I came outside, I noticed my car was going. He was like, I was just taking it. I was walking out. down the street. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, you came oh, outside, you ain't my car. car. Oh, he's a liar. <laughs> but I was waiting to hear the person on the news be like, and... So you have no said, idea who stole your vehicle. <laughs> None whatsoever. It was my cousin. <laughs> you, know, you know the bad part about it? Was that if he wasn't black, he could probably get away with it. He probably like, no, it'd be, it'd be, it was a black guy it'd, who it'd stole be even my car. Funnier. <laughs> he ran I'm, I'm going to be real. I was just waiting to hear that the 99-year-old woman got hit. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You can't let that go. Why can't you? Why can't you? <laughs> Why can't you? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is funny. She safe? Lie. All right, but this shit is hella funny. Cool. Yeah. Show me the pictures. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. You a lying little guy. You a lying little nigga. That motherfucker got that car. Smoking some K2. There you go. Little Will, hit the crib. Saw that granny was late. Got out. Ran. Got out. Oh, shit. Ran home. Home. Yep. And then... The next Came day, out. <laughs> saw the news cameras over and was like, oh, I was just taking a walk. And somebody <laughs> stole my goddamn car and ran it into these nice people. Out. I had the nerve to leave my keys in the car. And I forgot to get my bag last night. Yo. Yeah. 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 yeah.